Hi, this is Mark Littleton, the minister of the Word for the Athens Church of Christ with today's three-minute sermon. In Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 through 20, Jesus says this. He says, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. You know, it's a scene that I have seen played out in many TV shows and movies over the years. You'll see a sheriff in hot pursuit of some suspect, and then that suspect crosses over the county line, right? And the sheriff has to stop and halt his pursuit. Why? Because he's out of his jurisdiction. He has no authority in that particular county where the suspect now is. Whenever I see that, I think of this passage. Jesus says that he has all authority in heaven and on earth. That is, Jesus has all authority in the entire universe. There is not a place where it's out of Jesus' jurisdiction. He is ruler. He has the authority in every place. And you know what that means for you and me today is he has authority in our lives individually. You know, that's not a subject we like to think about. You know, you'll hear some people say, well, nobody's going to tell me what to do. Nobody's going to have authority over me. Well, listen, if you're going to please the Lord, you're going to surrender to His authority because He is the one who is in control. So I have a twofold challenge to you today. Friend, if you don't know Christ and you don't have a relationship with Him, I would plead with you, uh, surrender your life to His. Respect His authority and bow your knee to the cross and bow your knee to Him and obey Him and surrender to Him and follow Him. And then the other challenge is to those of us who are already followers of Christ. Listen, if He has all authority, He still has authority in my life too and in your life too. He has a right to call the shots in your life today. And by the way, one of the things that means, according to this passage, is we're going to take the good news about Him into all the world. We're going to baptize people in the name of the Father and Son and Holy Spirit. We're going to teach people to observe everything that the Lord has commanded. And so, what about you today? Is Jesus exercising His authority in your life? Are you bowing your knee to His authority today? Lord willing, we'll see you again later this week for another three-minute sermon. God bless.